हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल मैथमेटिक्स जेई दिस इज अ डिराइव्ड वर्जन ऑफ ए जेई एडवांस 2014 पीवाईक्यू फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल आई विल एडवाइज यू टू पॉज द वीडियो हियर एंड अटेम्प्ट दिस क्वेश्चन योरसेल्फ बिफोर सीइंग द डिस्कशन so here let us discuss the concepts one by one here it says let this integral be equal to this integral then the ordered pair m comma n is equal to what okay so we have to compare these two integrals we don't have to actually evaluate either of them so how we are going to compare them we can try to somehow convert this first integral into this second integral by using substitution technique now what we are going to substitute let's say we substitute here this term inside this bracket equal to some variable t so we substitute root under 1 plus x square plus x equal to some variable t then if we differentiate both side we get x by root under 1 plus x square plus 1 times dx is equal to dt uh, so if we simplify this this will become x plus root under 1 plus x square divided by root under 1 plus x square then multiplied with dx is equal to dt now what is this this is x plus root under 1 plus x square so we can again call it t but what is this denominator this denominator we have to find this is the main motive of this dpyq so we are going to discuss this special expressions so special expressions let's say we have some pairs of expressions like cosecant x plus cot x and then cosecant x minus cot x similarly we have secant x plus this will be tan x and secant x minus tan x similarly we can have this pair also root under 1 plus x square plus x and then root under 1 plus x square minus x now what is the speciality about this pair of expressions the special thing about this are they are reciprocals of each other that means if we substitute any of them equal to let's say some variable t then the other will automatically become 1 by t so let's say we have this pair of expressions here in this problem so we say root under 1 plus x square plus x equal to t so root under 1 plus x square minus x will automatically be equal to 1 by t that means if we add both of them we get root under 1 plus x square is half of t plus 1 by t so we can substitute the value of root under 1 plus x square here so from here we get this will be dx equal to dt by t times half into t plus 1 by t that means we can write our given integral as this will be in variable t so t to the power 2025 times this dx will be half into 1 plus 1 by t square so half outside then 1 plus 1 by t square then dt so this will be and limits will be from 1 to root 2 plus 1 so this will be 1 to root 2 plus 1 then t to the power 2025 plus t to the power 2023 dt now we have to convert this integral into some trigonometric format how we are going to do this we observe that we can write this as t to the power 2023 times 1 plus t square then dt so let's say if we substitute t equal to tan theta here then we will get sin to the power 2023 theta here and 
cos to the power 2 0 2 3 theta in the denominator and here we will also get another 1 by cos to the power 4 theta that means we will get terms containing sine and cosine so we can probably get our desired format so if we substitute this t here we get half times this integral will be sine to the power 2023 theta then cos theta whole to the power 2023 times this will be sec to the power 4 theta d theta now we can write this as 1 by cos to the power 4 theta so this will become overall 1 by cos theta whole to the power 2027 then d theta and the limits will be from pi by 4 to 3 pi by 8 how because we have tan theta equal to 1 then theta should be pi by 4 and when tan theta is root 2 plus 1 then we have theta equal to 67.5 degree or 3 pi by 8 this is a some standard angle that you should remember so from here we get the limits will be from pi by 4 to 3 pi by 8 so it will be half times integral pi by 4 to 3 pi by 8 then sin theta whole to the power 2 0 2 3 then cos theta whole to the power minus 2 0 2 7 then d theta that means our m will be 2 0 2 3 in this case and n will be minus 2 0 2 7 so our correct option in this case will be option number b i hope you understood the concept behind this problem now you can attempt this problem yourself and post the answer in the comments in this question you have to just evaluate the integral given in the previous problem so in this case we have to actually evaluate this integral 